Hello everyone and welcome back to your YouTube channel. And today I have a very simple but very informative video. In recent time I have received many, many emails about people using the copy and paste functionality inside the Excellent Power Factory. The copy and paste functionality is quite useful in several software, including, for instance, Windows. However, when you are using copy and paste inside the Xilin Power Factory, you must be extremely careful because there are some objects that you cannot copy and paste inside the software. So this very short video today is to show you something that you don't do it again. So let's start here. We have Power Factory 2024. And what I will do right now is I will use one of the very useful examples created by our colleagues and friends from Dixieland Power Factory, uh, Dixieland, Germany, okay? So I will use this very simple example. This is a wind farm, and in this example, we have six wind turbines, and it's type 4 full-rate converters. I will import here. I will import the, um, the project inside my database, and as you can see over here, we have this very interesting and simple uh, distribution system. We have here the, po the point of common coupling, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six wind turbines. And each one of these wind turbines, as you can see over here, or friends from Power Factory, they are using the element. Uh, a static generator and over here you can see that there is a section that is dedicated for the model of this controller or the controller is in this full rate converter wind turbine so if you press over here you can see that there are two DSL model over here. Remember, DSL, DSL is basically the excellent simulation language. That is the primitive language used for creating dynamic models inside Power Factory. And as you can see, there is a model for the reactive power voltage protection system. And also, we have a wind turbine control over here. If we double click over here, you can see at the top the name for the frame, wind turbine generator, full rate converter, and inside we have different elements like the PLL, DSL, but also some measurement devices. So many, many people want to reuse this model and for that reason, they are tempted to use the copy and paste functionality. So let me show you the following. If I take this model and let me run initial conditions over here, you will see that my friends and colleagues of Dixie Power Factory they spend time creating the DSL model and calculating the equations to obtain the initial conditions. So those models created by the Xilin Power Factory using the primitive DSL will be work and it will provide the proper results. So after running the initial conditions over here, you will see, you will be able to see that we don't get any error and you will be able to run a RMS simulation or AMT using those models over here. However, in recent times, uh, John users or beginners users, 
they are trying to use the copy and paste functionality in order to reuse and take advantages of those models, DSL models created by our colleagues and friends from Power Factory. However, I have a bad news. I will show you a classical mistake that people are doing by using the classical copy and paste. If you look over here, let me, let me enable here editing. So right now I can, let me zoom in here. Yes, and right now I will increase the size of this boost bar. And from there I will, sorry, I will do the classical right button and copy. And then people are tempted to use paste and now they are connecting a wind turbine here at the same boost bar. However, if you double click over here, you realize that the DSL model, the model describing the full rate converter wind turbine generator and the model of the voltage and reactive power protections are not included. And the reason is with DSL, you cannot use this classical copy and paste. DSL is created, in this case, those dynamic models, they are not copy when you use copy and paste. So I received many emails about this issue of people trying to reuse those models by simply copy and paste. So don't do that. It's not working. It's not working. So please stop doing that. What you need to do, what you need to do, what you need to uh, understand is DSL, Dixieland Simulation Language. If you understand the philosophy and the way that the DSLs are created, you will be able to work with them. So please don't do the copy and paste because again, the model of this wind turbine or any DSL model that was originally included will not be automatically replicated and include in the copy and paste functionality. So I hope this video closure those emails about copy and paste in DSL and missing information. The best case scenario, you will copy and paste this element without the model. And in some other cases, also you can get a error. And the error is typically that you cannot initialize the model. So again, don't use copy and paste to do this. Well, this is the end of this video. I do apologize if somebody feel that I am being harsh regarding this comment, but I am receiving every single day emails about asking why this is happening. And right now there is a video for you to understand. Don't do copy and paste when you are using dynamic simulation language models inside Power Factory. This is all for this video today. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you at the next one. Bye now.